Hi, this is the video how I assembled the MIDI device from the finished boards. To connect them together I needed some cables, which I soldered here from ribbon cables, wires and some pin headers. I don't have any power regulation on the main board, I use this old small regulator board which I am using for all the 5 volts projects. It was clear the device won't run on the first try since I reconfigured some pins compared to the breadboard design, but at least the display lit up and I knew I don't have any shorts. As I assumed the display didn't show any correct numbers. But I was confident enough to toss away the old not working multiplexer board. To reprogram the display control I had to connect my programmer. That is really easy with this convenient connector I planned in for this purpose. After fixing the addressing of the digits I had to find out which bit is connected to which segment on a digit. This time I made some comment notes on the bit masks. After this changes the display was fixed, but I still needed a new power regulating board with some more 5V connectors. I have used the striped prototyping board again, since the circuit is really small and easy. To regulate the voltage down to constant 5V from an external DC power supply, I have used this typical 7805 voltage regulator. soldered in a pin header for the input DC and two headers to the 5V output rail. The ground rail is in the center. It's recommended to use a 10 microfarad electrolytic cap on the input side and a 100 nanofarad ceramic cap on the output side. Since I didn't want to risk that the electrolytic cap blows up when the input polarity is wrong, I have used also ceramic caps on the input side. I didn't have any 10 microfarad caps, so I just took two chunky 6 microfarad caps from an old computer main board. This 100 nanofarad cap is also recycled. I realized I might need a third 5 volt connector, so I added this as well. This board doesn't win any beauty contest, but it works. One more power cable and it's time for testing. Even though the device seemed to work, the ADC didn't give any low values. So I started to measure the common suspect multiplexer board. The sensor array seemed to work. There was also some addressing from the main board running. After some more debugging I realized the addressing of the pedals is wrong. The ADC values seem to react at least a bit. I disconnected the suspect multiplexer board and did some manual addressing on the breadboard and testing if the board is routing well. Surprisingly it worked perfect, so I tested the sensor array again. And this was ok too. 2.5 volts from the sensor when it's idle and up to zero when it's pressed. This 2.5 volts on idle reminded me that I used the 2.5 internal voltage reference. I realized I made a mistake to connect the analog reference of the microcontroller to the 5 volts of the main board. It just has to be decoupled for noise reduction. I disconnected the trace immediately.
Thankfully it worked afterwards and didn't destroy the microcontroller. Since the disconnected trace was chained to the second power connector, I had to bypass it. I finally had an application for one of the zero ohms resistors, which I had recycled earlier. There still was the problem of addressing the wrong pedals. I found a bug in the code and fixed it. Reprogramming the device. And it worked! To tidy the device up, I just placed the boards below the pedals. That's all from the practical part. See you next time!